Did you know that the Sui dynasty, one of the shortest lived dynasties in Chinese history, played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's future? This historical journey begins with the establishment of the Sui dynasty by Yang Zhan. In the late 6th century, China was a nation divided. The North-South divide was a significant barrier hindering the growth and prosperity of the country. It was during this tumultuous period that a man named Yang Zhan rose to prominence. Born into an aristocratic family, Yang Zhan was a man of vision and ambition. He saw the fractured state of his country and dreamt of a unified China. In 581 AD, he made this dream a reality. Yang Zhan, later known as Emperor I of Sui, undertook the Herculean task of uniting the North and South. He accomplished this through a combination of diplomacy, strategic alliances, and, when necessary, military force. His efforts led to the birth of the Sui dynasty, marking the end of nearly three centuries of division and the beginning of a unified China. Under Yang Zhan's rule, the Sui dynasty flourished. He implemented policies that promoted agricultural growth, improved the judicial system, and encouraged cultural development. The prosperity of the Sui dynasty was not limited to wealth or territorial expansion. It was a prosperity that permeated every aspect of life, from the bustling markets of Chang'an, the capital city, to the humblest villages in the countryside. Yang Jian's reign was not just about political and economic growth. It was a time of cultural and intellectual blossoming. Scholars thrived, literature flourished, and the arts were patronized. The Sui dynasty under Yang Jian's leadership was a beacon of progress and prosperity. So, Yang Jian, with his political acumen, not only founded the Sui dynasty but also united a divided China, setting the stage for a period of prosperity. The Sui dynasty, despite its short lifespan, left an indelible mark on Chinese history with its technological and cultural achievements. One of the most significant technological feats of the Sui dynasty was the construction of the Grand Canal. This monumental project was a marvel of engineering and a testament to the ambition of the Sui rulers. Stretching over a thousand miles, it linked the Yellow River in the north with the Yangtze River in the south. This canal was not just a waterway. It was a lifeline that facilitated trade, transportation, and communication between the northern and southern regions of China. Greatly boosting domestic trade, the Grand Canal had a profound impact on China's economy and paved the way for a cultural exchange that enriched Chinese society. The Sui dynasty also had a profound influence on Buddhism, which flourished during this time. The rulers of the Sui dynasty were devout Buddhists themselves and promoted the religion throughout their realm. This resulted in the construction of numerous Buddhist temples and monasteries, the translation of Buddhist scriptures, and the proliferation of Buddhist art and sculpture. Through their patronage, the Sui rulers integrated Buddhism into Chinese culture and society, making it an integral part of China's spiritual landscape. In addition to these, the Sui dynasty also saw the development of literature, poetry, and painting. There was a renewed interest in classical literature, and many works from earlier periods were compiled and preserved. Poetry flourished, reflecting the thoughts and emotions of the people. Painting, too, reached new heights, with artists exploring various themes and techniques, contributing to the richness of Chinese art. Thus, the Sui dynasty, through its remarkable achievements, brought about a cultural renaissance that shaped Chinese society. Despite its brief existence, the Sui dynasty's contributions to technology, culture, and religion had a lasting impact resonating throughout Chinese history and leaving a legacy that continues to be felt today. Emperor Yang, the second emperor of the Sui dynasty, was a significant figure who left a lasting impact on the dynasty. Now let's delve into the reign of Emperor Yang, a time often regarded as one of the most brilliant periods of the Sui dynasty. Born Yang Guang, he ascended the throne in the year 604, and his reign spanned nearly two decades. Emperor Yang was a vigorous proponent of reform. He believed that to strengthen the state, it was crucial to overhaul existing systems and introduce changes that would propel the dynasty forward. His reforms touched various aspects of the state, from administrative structures to legal codes and even military strategies. These changes were instrumental in consolidating the Sui dynasty's power and maintaining its stability. His reign was not limited to internal reforms. Emperor Yang was a leader who believed in the expansion of his empire. He actively participated in foreign wars, a strategy that led to the expansion of the Sui dynasty's boundaries. 
His military campaigns extended the Sui influence far and wide, from the Korean Peninsula to Central Asia. These conquests not only expanded the empire's territorial boundaries, but also enriched it with diverse cultures and resources. Yet, Emperor Yang's rule was not without controversy. His ambitious construction projects and military campaigns often placed a heavy burden on the people and the state's resources. However, despite these criticisms, there's no denying the fact that his reign marked a period of significant expansion and growth for the Sui dynasty. Emperor Yang's vision and his relentless pursuit of progress played a pivotal role in shaping the Sui dynasty. His reforms laid the groundwork for a strong administrative system, while his military conquests expanded the empire's reach. His reign, though marked by both achievements and controversies, was a period of dynamic change and growth. Despite the controversies surrounding his rule, Emperor Yang's tireless efforts led to the Sui dynasty's most brilliant period. The impact of his reign continues to resonate in the annals of Chinese history, underlining the importance of his contribution to the Sui dynasty. The rapid rise and fall of the Sui dynasty is a compelling narrative in Chinese history. A dynasty that started with such promise, however, would soon face a series of challenges that led to its decline. The Sui dynasty, despite its brief existence, was marked by grand projects that aimed to unify and enhance the empire. One of these was the construction of the Grand Canal, an impressive feat of engineering that connected the north and south of China. While this monumental project facilitated trade and cultural exchanges, it also placed a massive financial burden on the state. The cost, both in terms of resources and human lives, was immense. This financial pressure, coupled with the strain of other ambitious projects, began to take a toll on the empire's stability. Political corruption also played a significant role in the downfall of the Sui dynasty. The government, riddled with dishonest officials, lacked the integrity and efficacy needed to manage the vast empire. This corruption eroded the trust of the people and led to widespread discontent. Additionally, societal hardship exacerbated the issues plaguing the empire. The common people, bearing the brunt of the financial burden imposed by the state's grand projects, suffered greatly. This hardship, coupled with the disillusionment caused by the government's corruption, led to a series of revolts that further destabilized the empire. The reign of Emperor Yang, once seen as a brilliant period of the Sui dynasty, was now marked by extravagance and excess. His ambitious foreign wars and grand construction projects drained the state's resources, leading to economic instability. His rule, characterized by a lack of restraint, ultimately sowed the seeds of the dynasty's decline. The Sui dynasty's downfall was as rapid as its rise, a cautionary tale of unchecked ambition and political corruption. Despite its initial promise, the dynasty's overzealous pursuits and failure to address internal issues led to its collapse. But, as we'll see in the next scene, even in decline, the Sui dynasty left a lasting impact on Chinese history. Though short-lived, the Sui dynasty left a profound legacy that continues to influence China to this day. At the heart of this legacy is the Grand Canal, a marvel of engineering that endures as a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the Sui dynasty. Stretching over a thousand miles, this magnificent waterway connected the fertile rice-growing regions of the south with the political and economic powerhouses of the north. The construction of the Grand Canal was an enormous undertaking requiring vast resources and manpower, yet the benefits reaped were immense. The canal facilitated trade and cultural exchange between the North and the South, boosting the economy and fostering a sense of shared identity among the diverse regions of the empire. Even today, the Grand Canal continues to serve as a vital artery of commerce and communication in China, underscoring the enduring impact of the Sui dynasty's infrastructure projects. But the legacy of the Sui dynasty extends beyond bricks and mortar. The Sui model of unification, which brought together a fragmented land under a single rule, had profound implications for the political landscape of China. This model of centralized authority and administrative efficiency became a blueprint for subsequent dynasties, shaping the course of Chinese history for centuries to come. Under the Sui, a vision of a unified China, culturally, politically, and economically, was realized. This vision, once thought impossible amidst the chaos and division of the preceding centuries, became the foundation upon which future dynasties would build. It's a testament to the enduring influence of the Sui dynasty that the dream of a united China, 
first fully realized under Emperor Wen, continues to resonate in the hearts and minds of the Chinese people. Despite its brief existence, the Sui dynasty's legacy is a testament to its significant impact on Chinese history and culture. The achievements of this dynamic era continue to echo down the corridors of time, reminding us of a period when the light of culture shone brightly, illuminating the path towards unity and prosperity.